Memory. This shows the overall REM usage. Bug Report. Sends interactive or full report of a device to a developer. Stay awake. Enabling this feature will stop your device screen from sleeping or getting blacked out while it is charging. Bluetooth HCI Snoop Log. With the Bluetooth host controller interface, HCI, you can see Bluetooth log history or the devices which were connected earlier via Bluetooth with specific time noted. OEM unlocking. It means bootloader unlocking, it's really handy when you want to root your device. Running services. Here you can see which apps and processes are eating up your RAM and stop those apps and processes to clean your RAM to make the device faster and smoother for gaming and hardcore tasks. Picture color mode. Enabling this feature allows sRGB colors to take effect, but I recommend you all not to turn it on. WebView implementation. Shows current WebView version or allows you to change to another WebView. Auto update system. If this feature is turned on and if your phone automatically downloads and stores update data, your phone will get automatic updates whenever it takes a reboot. Demo mode. This feature is used by device sellers in their stores to present the devices to the customers. Quick settings developer tiles. This allows you to create developer option tiles in the notification bar. USB debugging. This option allows your device to connect to a desktop or PC via USB cable connection. Revoke USB debugging authorizations. This option will stop any desktop or PC from connecting to your device. It is really helpful if you go to any cyber cafe and if there are any privacy threats. This will save your device from hackers by not letting them connect. Wireless debugging. This will allow any debugger to connect to any desktop or PC wirelessly. Just a Wi-Fi connection is required. 3GPP at commands. At commands are used to control modems. At is the abbreviation for attention. At command is used to check communication between a module and a computer. Bug report shortcut. Enabling this will add a button in the power menu to take bug reports. Power menu is the menu which you use for turning your device off or rebooting it. Verbose vendor logging. This is also bug reporting related. Select Mock Location app. You can fake your location like a VPN does with this option. People can't trace your location if you use this. Forceful GNSS measurements. This option is for improving location accuracy. Enable View Attribute Inspection. Saves View Attribute information in the M Attributes member variable of a View instance so it can be used for debugging. Select Debug app. You can select a debug application like Bugjagger with this option. Verify bytecode of debuggable apps. This option allows you to see the code explanation of any debuggable app. Logger buffer sizes. This allows you to increase or reduce audio sampling rate in order to reduce or increase audio latency. I recommend you to reduce it to 64K for the least audio latency in games. Samsung verbose debug logging. Just ignore it. Enable GPU debug layers. This is also for debuggers, if you are a developer you will understand. Or else, you don't need it. Graphics driver. Allows you to change between system graphics driver and default driver. Performance logging time. Shows exact app launch time. App compatibility changes. It is also for developers and debuggers. Show refresh rate. Shows the refresh rate of your display on the screen. System tracing. This will help developers see reports and improve the system. Wireless display. Certification. Enables cast in most of the devices. Enable Wi-Fi verbose logging. Shows detailed information of a wireless network. But don't expect to see passwords. Wi-Fi scan throttling. Increases scan interval of a device's wireless connection scanning module. Mobile data always active. If this feature is enabled, your data connection will always be enabled and that is something we don't want. Tethering hardware acceleration. Enable it for a performance boost. Default USB configuration. Set it to charging only, for a faster charge. Bluetooth blah blah blah. Show taps. Enabling this feature will let you see where you are touching on the screen. Pointer location is also the same as show taps but it's more messy. Animation scales. Reduce all to 0.5x for faster animations and performance. Minimum width. 
Here you can change the screen DPI and never set it more than 600 for your own safety. I use 561 DPI though. Force 4x MSAA don't turn it on if you don't want laggy performance. I recommend turning it off, because turning it on will cause overheating issues and frame drops. Disable HW overlays enabling this feature will allow your lazy GPU to be used everywhere. I recommend turning it on for a better gaming performance. GPU Watch shows you the CPU and GPU info along with FPS. Don't keep activities. Please don't turn this feature on. You really don't want to, trust me. Background Process Limit Set this to at most two processes to get the best performance while using any app or playing any game. Enable Force Allow Apps on external and force activities to be resizable and enable freeform windows. This allows any app to run in multi-window mode. Did you know you can multitask like windows on your phone? Check that video in the eye icon. Force desktop mode. This allows your device to load any desktop priority web page. I skipped some useless options, hope you don't mind. Thanks for watching.